My name is Becky Fiddler here to give you another video of the superficial muscle functions. Again, I'm going to be going over one particular muscle in this video. It's going to include origin, insertion, functions, and exercises of a particular muscle. So today, the particular muscle I'd like to go over is the brachioradialis. Okay, some people know whereabouts this muscle already is, so I'm going to tell you as to whereabouts the origin, insertions, functions, and exercises of this particular muscle, and then I'm going to point it out on my body. So, to start off, the brachioradialis actually originates on the distal two-thirds of the humerus, and that's on the lateral border of the supracondylar ridge. Okay, and then inserts onto your radius, that is the distal end, meaning the far end away from your body, okay, on the lateral border of the styloid process. Okay, so I'm going to show you whereabouts this muscle is so you could actually see, you can pause this video and then look at your arm and see about where this particular muscle is. So, uh, like I said, this muscle is on your arm, so we'll be talking about your elbow joint, okay? Your humerus is up here, and then your radius is down here, okay? So like I said, the origin of this particular muscle, the brachioradialis, starts on the distal two-thirds of the lateral supracondylar ridge, okay? So if we have our hand, okay, palm out, thumb facing out, okay, the distal portion would be the farthest away from the body. So we're looking at the lower half of the humerus. Okay, that's the distal two-thirds lateral supracondylar process, or ridge, I'm sorry. So we're looking at right before the elbow joint, right here. So that's the distal two-thirds, okay, right in here. Okay, right here's my elbow. So we're looking at right in here on the edge, okay? And then it inserts onto the lateral part of your radius on the styloid process. Okay, so that is actually all the way down here right before your thumb. That little bump there, it does insert onto that little bump, okay? So it's a fairly long um, our muscle, this particular muscle, helps with elbow flexion, okay? It's especially strong with elbow flexion when your hands are in neutral grip, which is like if you were to hold a hammer, okay? So the brachioradialis is really strong right now, okay? Lifting your forearm like this, okay? So it is right in here. Okay. So now that you know whereabouts this muscle is, you can actually look at your body and see where this particular muscle is. Now, other than just elbow flexion, okay, we also can, this muscle also works with pronating and supinating your hands. Depending on which uh, position your hands are in, it actually works with both. But let's say you have a pronated uh, hand position, which is with your palms facing down, okay? Your brachioradialis will assist or will work whenever you're supinating, okay? which is like holding a cup of soup in your hands, okay? So we have supinating, okay? So from pronation to supination, and then it works back to neutral, okay? Because that is where it's strongest. If we're starting supination, it will work doing pronation, okay? And then it'll work itself back to neutral, okay? So this may be why you're seeing in your bicep curls, or in your reverse bicep curls that you're seeing some inward or outward uh, motion, okay? So if you're doing a reverse curl, 
and you notice that your thumbs want to come to neutral, that is your brachioradialis trying to assist your biceps brachii in doing that curl. Okay, so if you were to come up and see that rotation, let's say you're using dumbbells, that is where your brachioradialis is trying to assist the biceps. Same as if you would actually just do regular curls, okay? So if you see your thumbs working inwards, that is where it's going to help your biceps. Okay, so your brachioradialis is trying to help your biceps out by moving your thumbs inward or outward, depending on which way you have your hands. Now, like I said before, your brachioradialis is strongest in the neutral grip. So we're looking at hammer curls for your exercise for that particular muscle, okay? But we also want to work uh, with regular curls as well to get that variation in. We want to work all angles that we possibly can if you're trying to develop this particular muscle. So if you do regular curls, add the twist to the end, okay? Or if you're doing reverse curls, add the twist. It's okay. Okay, there's so many various uh, uh, exercises. You can use cables, dumbbells. Um, those are really the main um, easy ones that you could possibly use if you're a beginner. If you're more advanced, you can come up with some other exercises. I'm sure there's plenty of them that have been not been discovered yet along with other creative situations, um, but I hope you guys learned something, okay? So again, um, you're mainly doing curls, uh, your brachioradialis, you're looking at hammer curls if you just want to get the brachioradialis working, you're working uh, hammer curls. Remember, you can always do regular bicep curls, okay, but remember to work those thumbs in or out. If you're doing reverse curls, don't be afraid to turn your hands out to get that work into the brachioradialis. So again, uh, if I went too fast, I apologize. Please review the video again if you didn't quite understand it. I hope you learned something and I hope you're able to share it and use it on a daily basis. So I will see you guys again next time. Thanks guys.